Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I hope you were all doing incredibly well. I hope you guys had good weekends, all that jazz. It is Wednesday and I am so happy to be back with my curvy denim haul part two. So if you missed the first haul, I posted that on this, this past Sunday. You guys often ask for denim recommendations for me or you know what jeans I wear, brands, things like that. I totally get it. I feel like if you're a curvier build, it can be tough. And if you're like a slimmer, curvier build, I think it's even tougher because I feel like I struggle with a small waist, but then, um, like I have a small waist, so I struggle finding jeans that fit me in the waist, but of course have the room that I need in my hips and thighs and butt. Honestly, of course, size doesn't matter. Your jean size, no one sees that except you. So oftentimes I size up and get the waist taken in. Now, if you watch the first haul, you'll see that I had to do that for the free people in Levi's that I shared. Um, here I'm sharing a pair of designer denim from a Goldie. They had been on my wish list for literally years. Finally caved, got them, and then had to get like two inches taken in, but whatever. I do love them, so I'm excited to share those with you guys today, but I think it's one of those things, if you're built like me, sometimes you just have to pay the extra few dollars to get them taken in because it is so worth it to obviously not be pulling up your pants all the time or just to be, you know, for them to fit nicely. So have that to share. Of course, these overalls I have to share. Super excited about that because of course, I feel like you see these things out like overalls and certain things look so cute, of course, on very tiny and thin builds. And it's just harder to find things when you're a little bit curvier, I think. So anyways, excited to share that I have found a pair of, found a pair of overalls I absolutely love. But let's get right into this haul, my curvy denim haul part two. The first pair that I wanted to share, I had actually mentioned it in my first haul but these are the Abercrombie & Fitch the 90 straight low rise I did get them in a size 28 6 long I just personally have realized that I'm liking a longer length because I like to either cuff them with sneakers or I just need the longer length I'm 5'5 for reference my measurements are down below as well in the description box everything's in the description box everything that I am sharing with you guys will be linked down below and of course if you're new here welcome my name is Brittany I create fashion hauls here on YouTube every single Sunday I share a haul and I'm trying to share on Wednesdays as well I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and of course follow me over on the like to note app it is a free app to to download and use, but I basically share five to six images a day. I share when things are on sale, just kind of random things that I use throughout the day, the day too. It's just the easiest way to kind of shop everything, but the links are down below in case you just want to shop on that. If you're on mobile, hit the description, hit the title of this and the description box will populate. All right, that was a mouthful, but anyways, these pants, I just feel like I love a longer length. I've realized some of the short, the regular lengths that I've gotten, I'm just kind of like, oh, I wish they were a little bit longer maybe for like my shoe preferences. I feel like lately I am typically like a, a sneaker girl or like little heeled mules. So I'm kind of like always wearing that. Not so much like flats, but I feel like where I wear sneakers, you could absolutely wear flats if you are like in between thinking you might want a longer length too. You just cuff them and that looks super cute. So of course I love the light wash denim. I actually realize I mean, I kind of knew this, but I'm a light wash denim girl or medium. I don't really like dark wash denim. I feel like you do look thinner in them, but if you photograph in dark denim, I don't, I do not like the way I look whatsoever. I just feel like a lot of times if light bounces off of it, it just makes me feel like I look bigger. I don't know. That's just me because I know everyone is like swears by dark denim, but they're just not for me to be honest. So I typically stick with lighter or medium wash. This pair, of course, I also love that it has this kind of distressed detail here where it doesn't even show the label. I just personally love that. Now with this being a low rise, it's not like a low rise that you think like Britney Spears, Christina, like underwear hanging out. So we are not there yet, <laughs> dren wise. So I think with this just being a low rise, it just means that basically my belly button's hitting right where the button is on these jeans versus you'll see in the other clips, I kind of like do this and I point and <laughs> that's where my belly button is. So you guys kind of know for reference. So um, my belly button's hitting right where the snap is for these pair of jeans. So not low by any stretch of like, you know, early 2000s or anything, just a little bit lower because we have all been wearing pretty much ultra high rise denim now for quite a few years. So I think that's just kind of like the new movement. 
but absolutely love these if you don't have a light wash pair of jeans i would definitely try these i know these also come in the white jeans that i shared with you guys in my last haul so if you are wanting an, an ultra high rise this would be the same you could get the same wash in this pair of jeans which i'm actually sharing again because they are also new and so this haul i'm sharing mostly all new items or items that you could purchase like right now jeans that are in stock or always carry so my last one was some of the jeans that i've had and i linked similar pairs so this is a pair that i had linked because the one that i have had for like three or four years no longer in stock but this one right here so these are the abercrombie they are the 70s vintage flare ultra high rise i just want to mention i got this in a 28 6 long super disappointed in these so these are literally so tight i can't even zip these up now a lot of times like i mentioned in my other video black and white denim they hold more dye so the threading and all that it's more saturated so sometimes you'll notice you're like what the heck i have to size up for the white denim or something totally normal will not worry about it just do it but for these ones i got my regular size these are the first pair of abercrombie curve love jeans that i actually can't fit in the 28.6 i mean it's not a big deal i could size up no problem but the thing is like the inseam like this it's just the crotch is like too like too low like i couldn't even like pull it up it just these will not fit honestly the 70s vintage flare they're just not for me but i did want to mention them because i was kind of disappointed that i didn't fit them and <laughs> they're the first pair that i did it but they also come in cream and i think like a, a light wash as well if you're a little bit slimmer of a build Maybe they would work for you a little bit slimmer and shorter, but I have such better recommendations that I would honestly probably pass on them. Okay, then I want to share the A Goldie. So these are the designer jeans that I was talking about. They are 100% cotton. I think they retail for like $198. I did get them on sale. Um, and they probably only go on sale once, one to three times a year. So I'm always looking for that because I think that's like a good time to buy. So I'll share that in the Likes Note app if you guys follow me over there. But I absolutely love this crisscross asymmetrical waistline. So that is the reason why I got these. I have I have looked at these jeans for years, you guys. Like honestly, probably two to three years I kept seeing these jeans just like online, but also on some like creators, influencers that I follow. And I'm like, oh my God, I literally want these so badly. They look a little different on me than some of the other girls. I feel like it's because they hang off of the hips on like the model online. I'll put a, I'll actually put a picture here. And I really liked how that looked. Of course, for me, since my hips are wider than my waist, it's not the same, but I do really like them. So I am happy with them. I love this kind of medium vintage 90s wash to them. Abercrombie does have an asymmetrical one that is very similar. So if you're not wanting to do the designer version here with a Goldie, then I would certainly try theirs. I mean, it's definitely half of the price. And then of course, if you watch Abercrombie, they always have sales from time to time on denim. So that'd be a good way to test if you do like the asymmetrical because it is a little bit different, but I do like them. They're kind of like a straight fit at the bottom here they look cute cuffed or uncuffed they look cute with tennis shoes uh little sandaled heels so i find that i wear them a lot with it being the asymmetrical i try to keep my top just a little bit more simple so i'll wear a crop top maybe like a crop t-shirt just like a simple tank top nothing too crazy so i just keep it more simple because i feel like the jeans kind of do all the talking <laughs> Wanted to share these, these are also two. Abercrombie. They're the 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. I got them in a 28.6 long. So I wanted to replace the ones I had the Shark Bite have in my first haul. Um, and that's why I picked up these low rise ones. And then I also picked up this one because I'm looking for a light wash that I can kind of um, like just switch to since those other ones are like, I don't like the Shark Bite anymore. And I think they're like four years old. And the waistband, I'm just ready for a new pair. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you guys. I want a new pair. <laughs> That's it. Wanted to look for a similar pair, but new one. Now, I do really like these, but they are a slim straight and the slimness a hundred percent is in the caps. So I did get a six long. So I'm curious if it would be a little bit different, if it would just hit and feel a little bit differently if I got the regular size. But like I said, I wanted, I want the long going forward as of right now, I'm ordering everything along from Abercrombie. 
but it's just very slim and tight on the calves. Not uncomfortable by any stretch of imagination. I just can feel it, you know, I can feel the jeans on there. So if I feel like I have pretty medium size, average size calves, like in proportion to my size. So if you are just someone that's like, I have bigger calves, I would just skip on this pair and I would do the light wash in the low rise 90s or again in this high rise with the cream is, you know, cause it, it also comes in this light wash color. So just wanted to mention that. Otherwise I do really like these again, love that light wash, very vintage kind of looking. And then I love that the label isn't actually on. I wanted to share these. These are an older pair, but they are the 90 straight ultra high rise. So they are just not slim. So you can kind of see the difference. Both of these are 28, six longs. So you can kind of compare. Of course, this one has the knee rip and is more of a medium blue also has this distressing detail that I love here with the label being more, um, with it not being a label, it's just ink. I wanted to share these because Abercrombie continues to have these. I'll link something very similar. I do think these are in stock, just low in stock, but wanted to really kind of give you guys a comparison side by side, the difference of a slim and then just a regular fit. Both again are ultra high. Now this pair is just an Abercrombie high rise jean. I believe they were called the dad jean. They are not curved love. So since it's not curved love, I sized up. So I got a 29.8. These are a regular fit. I do really like them. They're kind of like more of a vintage, a little bit more vintage, kind of have like a hint of acid a little bit to them versus just like the solid light wash. And of course they have the big distressed knees torn out and then the back. I'll link something similar if I can find them. I just kind of wanted to share in terms of like if you're not doing a curve of fit and your curvier build like kind of what the case is so i just had to size up once sized up but i did have to get the seat the waist taken in so again very typical for me if it's not a curve love fit or like really like a curvy fit i'm getting the waist taken in you can't tell if you go to someone good i think you can't tell so i haven't found anyone new out here yet but back home i mean they just like kind of come in the dressing room with you and like yank everything and pin it you I know. definitely prefer the curve love line though and like good american since those have like a contour waistband i do prefer that a little bit more because even though i got these taken in they still since they're not like a stretch pair of denim like they can't be as tight as possible to my waist because like my hips still have to fit to get past <laughs> like i still have to be able to pull them on so going so forward i'm really only shopping denim that does fit curves a little bit more. I mean like the A Goldie was worth a splurge in my opinion because they're like my only designer pair and I had one of those. So just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I don't think you can really tell, but, and I really do like them, but when it comes to not curve love, I am typically sizing up one size and then getting the waist. And I'm gonna quickly reshare these guys because I honestly love them. These are the Abercrombie, the 90s straight ultra high rise. I just think this cream color is so beautiful. You'll see that I styled it here with a white tank top that's actually from Abercrombie, comes in several colors and wearing a size medium. I do think I need a size small. The reason is because I feel like that kind of ribbed material stretches. And if you're pulling it to tuck it in or something, I feel like it's just gonna kind of like fan out. So I definitely need, I would definitely size down in that. Unless you're like very big chested, you're probably gonna have to stick to your true, just like your true size. But then I paired it with, I paired these with that Express fuzzy cardigan still in stock you guys i freaking love that thing and i shared it over on my instagram in a lot of loungewear reels because i think it looks so cute dressed up with something like this and jeans and like little heels or even sneakers but i think it looks equally as cute at home with like loungewear on and it's so soft and cozy like I don't know if you guys have certain outfits, but I feel like I get home from the gym and I shower and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to put on that. Those, my cozy pants and my like soft cardigan. I don't know. Anyways, love that guy. Paired it all here. I gotta say, I'm definitely into cream and whites mixing before I've never liked it. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly do, but I kind of have just like been thinking about, oh, would I like that together and stuff? So Anyways, here is my first time doing that, and I do like how it looks. I feel like, you know, the hat is a little bit cream and white, so that kind of makes it like a nice pull together, and then the cardigan is kind of like an in-between, and anyways, I, I do like that neutral outfit.
Okay, and then lastly are these Levi overalls that I'm wearing. I've been on the hunt for overalls for a while. I just think they look super cute. Anytime I see them, I'm like, oh, that is so freaking cute. I like this pair in particular because I feel like it still hits your butt, so it's not like completely oversized and baggy, especially I feel like, you know, if you're a curvier build, you might be sizing up and then you just kind of look like it's a lot of fabric and like a lot of you. I don't feel that way with these, so I actually, this is a size medium. I got them on Amazon, so they shipped like within two days. But I had also tried the large just to kind of see. I just wanted to make sure, you know. Again, I'm someone that like the size does not matter. It's just all on how it fits and how it makes you feel. I feel like so many people wear, like try to fit into like a smaller size and it looks like you're trying to fit into a smaller size. So don't ever be afraid about sizing up if it's the better fit for you. Because among retail to retailer, it's like insane how things aren't more formulated so you can order and know your size always think that is like my biggest tip i feel like and just kind of like elevating looks sometimes it's like always go with the size that fits well for your shape and size and don't care about the size inside of it so anyways that was a long spiel i had ordered the medium that's what i'm wearing also ordered the large the large was okay it just felt like a little bit bigger all around and like in my butt and hips like there wasn't like any kind of definition so i kept the medium i do really like it now i showed it without this flannel which i think is super cute i do like styling it with something tied around me because it does kind of just give a little bit more of a waist definition I mean, when you're wearing overalls, it's not too, in my opinion, it's it's like the style, right? It's not like, oh, she has like a very curvy hourglass body. I mean, it's like definitely more of like, this is cute and comfy, we're out and about. So it's not like a, you know, a sexy figure flattering kind of a piece in your wardrobe, which I don't think you have to have everything that way unless you, that makes you feel your best. But to me, I just think it's really cute. I actually wore this. Um, with Pat and Ruby we were exploring Laguna and like kind of walking on the beach like all these rocks and coves like from beach to beach It's really cool, but we were playing frisbee with her and I just felt super cute wore those white Chelsea boots with it and it was just like such a Casual outfit that I wore and I just felt really good in it I do like tying this flannel around it because it, it gives that little bit of a waist definition This is the free people flannel. I had shared that in my free people haul maybe back in august or something and you guys loved it i know a lot of you had purchased it i'm kind of like hmm, do i need another color because they've come out with different spring colors i'll put them here it's just one of those like a bestseller for them so they're always coming out with new colors so anyways take a look at that a little bit higher in the price point but i gotta say i absolutely love it get so many compliments the coloring is amazing on these and it's like that warm wash feel like it feels like your boyfriend's or your dad's like flannel that they've had for like 40 years so to me the quality is insane and totally worth the price okay you guys that's it for my curvy denim haul part two i would love to hear your thoughts on it i would love to know if there's any other place you guys want me to try i can definitely incorporate a couple more pairs of jeans in my upcoming hauls from different retailers if you're just kind of curious and what my overall uh review on that so happy to do that always open to suggestions i want to obviously create content that you guys are interested in and if you have any questions leave them down below please do hit the subscribe button i'm almost the 2000 subscribers that is so exciting for me so please do hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so again follow me over on instagram i'll put my handle here i'm sharing outfit reels over there daily i'm sharing a little bit more about our new life here in california if you're new my husband and i just relocated from north carolina with our little puppy dog to southern california it has always been a dream of ours for years and we finally did it and it's amazing so i kind of share a little bit more about what we're up to over there on my stories and in some of my like posts so i would love for you guys to join me over there and of course follow me in the likes note app it is so easy i know i always bring this up but it is so easy to shop everything that i'm talking about and sharing over there and then you get you can make wish lists and i'm just always sharing like when something goes on sale so it's just kind of like a really quick easy way to just kind of you know be notified of those kind of things you can just click my name and see what i'm posting scroll real quickly 
it's a free app so I, I absolutely love it and use it myself and you know I just think it's amazing <laughs> um, but yeah I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thanks for watching and I hope to see you really soon in my next video on Sunday I sleeps the whole time <laughs> that I talk to you guys <laughs>